Hey everybody, welcome to Average Guy Opinions. My, yeah, my, I am your average guy, John Corelli. Uh, last Average Guy Opinion of the year, uh, episode 365. I made it, you made it, we made it. Uh, this will probably go a little long, so my apologies in advance for that. I'm going to talk about some people we lost this year, uh, famous people, because I've usually given homages to people that were personal friends of mine, and I don't want to get too choked up about it because I, uh, I, I don't feel like reliving that right now, because uh, I've already lost a lot of people, and I just don't need to revisit it. So uh, here we are. Um, I, mean, I got this. <laughs> this is going to make me look really old. The old parade section of the paper. My mom is the best. She brings me the Sunday paper after they've, after she and my stepdad have perused it every Sunday, and so I go through it myself. And this past Sunday, uh, they they did a, you know, obviously this is before Betty White died earlier today. Uh, I believe it was also before, um, oh gosh, uh, John Madden died, of course. So but it's basically notable people, famous people who died in the past year. Many of them I knew about, many of them I didn't. Um, but uh, let's go through a quick list. Uh, well, the first one that I really didn't know about and really kind of bummed me out was Hank Aaron, was a famous baseball player, uh, broke the home run record uh, back in, uh, I think, uh, 1974. He wore the number 44. He's one of the reasons I wear num- used to love wearing 44 when I played rec league games between him and Floyd Little and uh, Rod Carew and other famous athletes. He's the reason I wore 44. So uh, that's kind of a bummer. All of these are going to be kind of a bummer. Cicely Tyson, of course, but Beloved actress and singer, uh, gone. Hal Holbrook, another amazing um, award-winning actor, gone. Christopher Plummer. Uh, Olympia Dukakis, sister of the first man I ever voted for for president, who lost, Michael Dukakis. And Olympia Dukakis was a very famous actress as well. Peter Scolari, another famous actor who did very well on Broadway and also... Uh, uh, was, of course, across from Tom Hanks in Bosom Buddies, and a lot of us remember that sitcom growing up. Eric Carle, uh, he was a, a, a children's uh, a writer of children's books, and uh, if you don't know The Very Hungry Caterpillar, that was a big one for my a lot of my generation, uh, reading those books to my kids. Uh, that, that was a big one. Um, Marky Post, The Pretty Lady on uh, Night Court, and also had just been in some Christmas movies, so that was... That's kind of a bummer. Um, Ed Asner, who I mentioned uh, a couple of episodes ago. Um, Colin Powell, of course, I uh, did an homage to him back when he died a couple months ago. Uh, amazing uh, soldier and military man for this country. Um, and when I go to Ed Asner, by the way, I had no idea. We lost three people this year from the Mary Tyler Moore Show. So it was kind of fitting that I did a, a, a video on the Mary Tyler Moore Show a couple episodes ago because I had no idea. I forgot that Cloris Leachman died. And then, of course, Betty White today. And then Ed Asner back in August. So we lost a lot of people from the uh, Mary Tyler Moore Show. Oh, Gavin McLeod, too. Gavin McLeod also died. Cloris Leachman was a guest on the show as Mary's friend. And if, if you remember the spinoff, uh, uh, I believe it was called Phyllis. Phyllis was the uh, character's name that Cloris Leachman uh, played. And, of course, Cloris Leachman had a, an extremely long career. She um, she was only 82. She looked 90 for the last 20 <laughs> in my opinion, but she was an amazing actress and had an amazing career. She was in Mel Brooks movies. She, of course, was on the Mary Tyler Moore show and then had her own show, Phyllis. Uh, she, but she was all over the place. I would see her on roasts the last couple of years. That was great. So she was doing it all. Um, who else we got? Yeah, Gavin McLeod, like I said, the former uh, skipper of the boat, of the love boat, who, uh, he was 90. I had no idea he was that old. Um, Neil, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Michael Collins, who was the third man to walk on the moon, along with uh, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong. He died this year. Uh, we got a lot of people, man. I'm going to try to get through quick, like I said. Dean Stockwell, I don't know if you know, he's a great character actor, and he's one in one of my favorite, I almost consider it a cult film called Married to the Mob. Uh, it's uh, Michelle Pfeiffer's kind of really her first film that I think where people started to get to know Michelle Pfeiffer. Uh, Alec Baldwin has a small part in it, and it's just a wonderfully quirky movie directed by John Jonathan Demme, um, who has done other weird, quirky, awesome movies. Um, let's see, uh, yeah, the, one of the ZZ Top guys uh, from the band ZZ Top died, Dusty Hill. Speaking of Dusty's, Dustin Diamond died at 44 after an incredible life playing Screech in uh, Saved by the Bell and then doing some other weird stuff that uh, maybe I shouldn't mention here. Ned Beatty, of course, died. I did an homage to him earlier in the year. Um, who else do we have? Charlie Watts, an amazing uh, rocker influenced by jazz, the uh, drummer of the Rolling Stones. Um, let's see who else we got. 
Charles Grodin died, one of the funniest guys alive for a very long time. Um, Larry King, of course, died. Uh, he was not young. He was 87. A lot, I mean, that's why it's, it doesn't make me feel too bad because most of these people were old. And, and, and it doesn't feel bad, like I said earlier in, in a couple of episodes ago, where if they're, if they're over 80, it doesn't hurt as much as they got to live a long, good life, especially if they're this famous. That's great. Uh, Norm MacDonald, who I also didn't know much, who unfortunately not quite as old, only 61 when he died. Oh, and this is one, I'm kind of glad I say, uh, saved a couple of these for last. Uh, one is Bismarcky. I did an homage to him. He's one of my favorite musicians ever. Uh, he's, he was all over uh, the map as far as entertainment. Mostly did rap, but also a- dabbled in acting. He was on Blackish. He was in Men in Black 2. He's on Living Color, which a lot of my generation knows is kind of a, almost like an alternative to SNL. Uh, very funny show, and a lot of famous people came up through there. Uh, J-Lo was one of the dancers. Uh, Tommy Davidson. Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, Jamie Foxx. Most noteworthy. Jim Carrey. Amazing people came out of that show and became mega stars. Very talented people. And and uh, Bismarck Hugh was one of those people. Um, Joanne Rogers. Mr. Rogers' wife died, and uh, she was amazing. They were married from 1952 until he died, and I can't remember what that was. I think it was in the 90s. Uh, but, you know, obviously... With the uh, having the movies we had made by uh, about Mister Rogers the last couple of years, we know what an incredible man he was, and this I'm sure, I'm sure his wife was equally incredible. Um, finally, I end on this, and this may be an obscure one to a lot of you, but the reason I do it is a little self pat on my back. Uh, Melvin Van, Van Peebles. Uh, now, if you don't know who Melvin and Mario Van Peebles are, Mario Van Peebles I think he's well, a little older than me. He's probably around sixty. Melvin Van Peebles. Um, is uh, died at 89. Um, so Melvin Van Peebles was a big black exploitation. Uh, that's hard for me to say. Black exploitation uh, film filmmaker back in the 70s. And the reason I bring him up, I got to meet him. <laughs> it was very brief, but uh, he and uh, Mario. For some reason, I have sometimes you have these friends who are just magnetized to know famous people or maybe become famous themselves. And one of those friends I have is Malin Thomas. He's uh, one of my best buddies. I, another person I, I got to know uh, at the Tivoli when I was working there. I guess I don't need these anymore. <laughs> and uh, uh, just an incredible kid. I call him a kid. He's 50 or 51 years old. He's not a kid at all. Uh, but He's a few years younger than me. But he's found ways by living in San Diego and in Southern California. He's found ways to meet pretty famous people. And he had a party here in Denver probably 15, 20 years ago um, when he was living downtown. And both Melvin and Mario Van Peebles somehow showed up. And I don't know how. I, I still need to ask him, how did you get to these guys to come to your party? And uh, everyone was flocking to these two, you know, semi-icons of Hollywood. Uh, Mar- Mario Van Peebles has also been in and made many movies. The movie they were making at the time was called Badass with a bunch of S's at the end. Um, another black exploitation type of film, but it was made in the, whenever this party was, like early 2000s. And so that was kind of cool. That's why I brought him up last. Uh, Malin has also been on stage with Janet Jackson. He wasn't part of the crew. He just got up there and somehow was a, got to dance with her. I have the pictures. It's amazing. So enough about uh, the people we lost. What's to gain? A lot, right? I, I'm... This snowstorm has made me very positive. I needed some moisture in my life. And so I'm very happy that it's snowing right now as we head into a new year. I, I'm usually pretty optimistic about a new year, but even more so this year. I, I have got so many wonderful things going on, including this. This is an outlet for me. I appreciate you guys who have watched me all year, or even if you just watched me once. I, I hope I provided if not entertainment, at least something to think about. <laughs> you know, I don't know how entertaining I am, but uh, I do like doing this. It's a fun outlet, and it's it's good just for me to babble at somebody for 10 minutes that doesn't have to be a kid or a parent or a girlfriend that has to suffer that. So <laughs> thank you for letting me have... I mean, I'm you're not letting me, but thank you for watching my outlet. Uh, I really do appreciate it a lot. Um, I've got a lot of goals for next year. Um, I would like to write my second book. Uh, I'm very, very busy. I, I'm, I'm still working a job that I care about and love. I'm going to be coaching. Uh, I'm still sort of raising kids. Dante will be with me as long as he wants to be with me and can be with me. Uh, Logan uh, still has senior year of, of uh, high school next year, so he's with me for, the, or she, that's another thing I'm working on. She will be with me the next year and a half. 
And that's going to be a challenge. That's a big challenge for me is to understand Logan identifies as a woman and that I have to respect that and try to help with that. Um, that's a big one for me. Uh, the, since we're getting into resolutions, I'm going to try to eat better. Um, I've been really good at working out the last three and a half months. I'm really happy about it. I'm pretty solid, but I still got a blanket of fat that I want to get rid of. And so I need to... Uh, get a little more into cardio, and I also need to uh, eat better. That's always one for me. I'm losing weight. Eating better are always my New Year's resolutions. Uh, I usually fail, but I got, I got to have that mindset that I got to keep trying to get better at that. Uh, I also want to be nicer. I just want to be a nicer person. I don't want to be as quick to anger, especially in my car. I want to do better at that. Um, as for comedy, I don't have a lot of comedy goals right now. As long as I can keep my uh, monthly show down in Elbert, Colorado going, I, I look forward to doing that. And if I can hop on a show once in a while, where people think I can do 10, 10 or 20 minutes for them, that's great. I uh, just got an offer to do, uh, I don't know how many minutes, because she offered me a spot, didn't tell me how many minutes yet, but I will be on a show, as far as I know, um, on February 19th at Noonan's, uh, which is a little, uh, it's, a, it's a perfectly named uh, golf bar down in Aurora, and I've done that show very, uh, a few times, maybe two or three times so far, uh, for my friend Terry Barton Gregg, and I love doing it, so... I'm going to just stick with as much comedy as I can do, but I really do want to work on my uh, work on storyboarding my book into a screenplay, work on a new book, and just keep busy. Because I've found from my parents, thank you, Mom, and thank you, my stepfather, Russ, Mom, Joelle, thank you very much, because you've set a very good example for me on how to live a full life. Is that It's just like keep your ass moving and find stuff you care about and just work on it. And that's really all that matters. And I, and I, I have plenty of that i've got you know i've got a, i've got a few important things i care about which are my kids uh the kids i work with at school and then i have uh, other uh, other little pet projects that uh, keep me happy like my hockey podcast my comedy uh trying to write a book maybe even we'll work on a uh, graphic novel and this and possibly turn something into a movie so life is sweet i know a bitch a lot i'm working on that as another <laughs> new year's resolution i plan on not complaining as much because life's too short and life is amazing. I am very, very fortunate. You guys know that I com uh, comment on how fortunate I am all the time, and I mean it. Uh, sometimes I complain, but I really do feel that I'm one of the luckiest people on the planet. I've got everything I need. I've got almost everything I want. And uh, I hope you get the same. That's all I can say. It's been a great year. I appreciate you guys going on this insane journey with me of my opinions, which have gone anywhere from talking about the Communist Manifesto to the insurrection at, at the Capitol. And that was, I think, in the first month of this. So you've seen everything I can offer uh, as far as you've probably gotten to know me a little more than you wanted to. And uh, thank you for uh, still keeping me in your life if you have. Um, that's about it. Have a great New Year. I hope 2022 works out for everybody as well as it can. And uh, I'll do my best to do my part of that. I will probably continue to do this, or I might um, turn this into something better. I'm still not sure what I want to do yet. but uh, Or maybe I'll do a little bit of both, but I'll figure it out. Uh, that's what life is about, is figuring it out. So thanks, guys. Talk to you next time. Uh, have a, Happy New Year. Have a drink. Bye.